All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to dive into cost calculations. Yay, more math. All right, first thing you want to do is pause this video and write down these equations, mainly the ABC, AFC, ATC, and MC. Go ahead and pause and get these things written down. All right, now that you have these things written down, real quick overview here. Total cost equals fixed cost plus variable cost. A fixed cost, cost that do not change is output changes. And uh, later we'll, we'll see how the short run is defined as the existence of fixed costs. The long run, there are no fixed costs. Um, so we'll elaborate upon that a little bit later. Variable costs are costs that change as output, as output changes. Um, so, you know, as we make more of a product, we're going to need more workers, for example. We're going to need more raw materials, for example, and so on. So, these costs will actually change as you change your output levels. Okay. To calculate variable cost, and you will not always be asked to calculate variable costs. Sometimes the uh, information, the data, are, the numbers are given to you, and here's the variable costs and you actually got to go right into calculating the average cost you see down below. However, occasionally you'll be giving a quantity of input, for example, a number of workers, and then you'll be given the price of that input, for example, the wage rate of the workers. So if you take the quantity of workers times the price of input, you create a variable cost. Fixed costs will always be given. They will tell you up front, these are your fixed costs. All right, average variable cost equals variable cost over quantity of output. This is not productivity assessment. This is a cost assessment. Go down here. Remember, total product, average product, marginal product deals with quantity of inputs. Cost calculations deal with quantity of outputs. So whenever you see VC over Q, FC over Q, TC over Q, and so on, the Q and the cost analysis are um, uh, the quantity of outputs. Got to keep that straight. Uh, the average fixed cost is a fixed cost divided by the quantity of output. Average total cost is average fixed cost plus average variable cost. Or you could do total cost divided by quantity of output. Marginal cost is the change in total cost over the change in the quantity of output. Those are your math formula. So let's go on and look at some numbers and plug these bad boys in. Yay, numbers. OK, so um, this is going to be loads of laughs. If you want to pause the video and sketch out this schedule, notice the columns, one for input, one for output. Here's your fixed cost, variable cost, total cost, average. You see it. Um, you may want to pause the video and jot down this schedule. Okay, um, first thing we want to take a look at is fixed cost. Notice that they gave you fixed cost, all right? So we have defined fixed cost as a cost that does not change as quantity of output changes. So if you look at the purple numbers here, total product or quantity of output, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all right? The fixed cost will not change. It remains the same. So if our fixed cost at a quantity of output of 0 is 10, that means the fixed cost at a quantity of 1 is 10, quantity of 2 is 10, 3 is 10, and so on. So our fixed cost is the same all the way down. Now to calculate variable cost, take the cost of the input per unit, in this case it's per hour, and multiply it by the quantity of input. So we're assuming that these are labor hours, one hour of work, 1.6 hours, two hours of work, 2.35 hours of work, and we're going to the cost is six dollars per hour. So if I have zero input, I have zero variable cost. If I have one hour of work at six dollars per hour, then clearly it's six my variable cost of my first worker is six dollars. 1.6 hours of work at $6 per hour is going to be $9.60. Two hours of work at $6 per hour is going to be, hey, look at there, 12 hours, or I'm sorry, $12. So, and so on and so on and so on. So take a second, pause the video, and calculate this just to make sure you got it. 
2.35 times 6, 2.7 times 6, 3 times 6, etc. Fill in the rest. Pause. Calculate. And this is what you should have come up with. Boom. Pause and check your numbers. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to calculate total costs. Well, total cost is fixed cost plus variable. So at a zero level, fixed cost is 10, variable cost is zero, which means your total is 10. 10 plus zero is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 10 plus 9.6, 19.6. Okay, now these are costs, so these are in fact in terms of dollars. I probably should have put dollar signs here. Um, but I neglected to do so. So these are dollar amounts, the price axis. So if you go through and add 10 plus 12, 10 plus 14.10, 10 plus 16.2, and so on, you wind up with our total cost column as you see here. Average variable cost. Average variable cost is variable cost divided by quantity of output. Quantity of output, not input. So what I'm going to do, just to keep things from getting too confusing, I'm going to take these input numbers in green. We don't need those anymore. Um, we only use those to get our variable cost column. Beyond that, we don't need the input numbers. So I'm going to take those inputs, and I'm going to get rid of them so we're not confused uh, um, as we move forward. So variable cost divided by the quantity of output, 6 divided by 1, is 6. Variable cost of $9.60 divided by 2 quantity of output, $4.80. Um, $12 variable cost divided by 3 output, $4. And so on and so on and so on. Pause the video, calculate your average variable cost for the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th output level. Okay. This is what you should have come up with. Boom. Pause the video, check your numbers. Average fixed cost, same process, except this time we're using the fixed cost column and the output column. So go through and calculate fixed cost of $10, output level of 1, 10 divided by 1 is 10. Fixed cost of $10 divided by 2 output is 5. Fixed cost of $10 divided by 3 output is $3.33. And so on and so on and so on. So pause the video, calculate the rest of the fi average fixed cost column. This is what you should have come up with. Pause the video, check your numbers. Alright, now let's notice something here real quick. Average variable cost goes down, 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 hits a low point, and then it starts to go up again. That's the law of diminishing marginal returns. We will plug that in later and fully understand why. Notice what average fixed cost does. It goes down, 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 down. It will never come back up. And that's because we're taking a set cost and we're dividing it evenly amongst our output levels. So as output goes up, this fixed cost will be spread more and more and more thin. All right, let's go to average total cost. Average total cost is average variable cost plus average fixed cost. 6 plus 10 is 16. 4.8 plus 5 is 9.8. 4 plus 3.33 is 7.33. So pause the video, add these all up, ABC plus AFC, and fill in the blanks. All right, there are the answers. Check your numbers, make sure you're correct. Now notice that the average total cost will go down, 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 hit a low point, and then start to go back up again. Why, you might ask? Well, the reason why it does that is because part of average total cost is average variable cost. And we know that average variable cost decreases, hits a low point, and then starts to come back up again. Well, since AVC is part of the ATC, the ATC is going to have a similar pattern. 
Now they're going to be a little bit removed from one another. Average variable cost hits its low point at a quantity of 7. Average total cost hits its low point at a quantity of 8. They're a little bit offset, and that's because the average fixed cost is a part of the equation as well. We'll explore these connections a little bit more later. Marginal cost. Here's the tricky part. Marginal cost calculations are a change in. As we go from zero output to one output, so we go from zero to one, we want to look at what happens to our total costs. So as we go from zero output to the first output, our total cost actually changes by six dollars. Boom. Then we take a look at going from our first level of output to the second level of output. Our costs go from total costs go from 16 to 19.6. So the marginal cost there is 3.6. Then we go from the second output to the third output. Our costs go from $19.60 to $22. And boom, that's the change. And then go from 3 to 4, which is 22 to 24.10. 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, and for each one of those, look at what the total cost is doing. Go ahead and calculate the rest of the marginal cost numbers. And this is what you should have come up with. Boom. Pause the video, check your numbers. Now notice that I put the marginal cost numbers, I put this column instead of, you know, lined up perfectly, I kind of put it in between. And that's recognizing that each one of these are a change in. We're moving from one level to another level. This will come into play when we do our graphing, which will be right about oh now. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to graph, I want you to graph the average, 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 and marginal. Three averages in the marginal is what I'm going to have you graph. So if you get a piece of graph paper and you label the axis as you see it, notice I'm going to skip number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you know, I'm going to go from 10 to 16, that's because I ran out of space, okay? When you graph this, the average curves will be plotted at the quantity lines. What do I mean by that? Well, your plot point here, let me erase a couple of these, your plot point here is going to be um, for average variable cost, uh, 1 for the x-axis and 6 for the y-axis. That's a plot point. Put a, dot, put a dot. 2 on the x-axis, quantity of output. 4.8 on the y-axis. Put a dot. 3 and 4. Put a dot. 4 and 3.53. Put a dot. Once you've done that, connect all the dots and label it A, B, C. Do that first. Once you've done that, then I want you to go and do the AFC. 1 on the x-axis, 10 on the y-axis, 2 on the x-axis, 5 on the y-axis, 3 on the x, 3.33 on the y. Try to line this up as well as you can. Put the dots, connect them. Then do the same thing for the ATC. 1 and 16, 2 and 9.8, 3 and 7.33, and you'll wind up with three curves. Label each clearly. Okay, the last thing you're going to do is you are going to plot the marginal cost. This is the oddball. Midway between 0 and 1 on the x-axis, plot 6. Midway between 1 and 2, quantity of output at 1.5, plot 3.6. Midway between 2 and 3, so at 2.5 on the x-axis, put 2.4 on the y-axis. Okay. Plot the marginal cost at quantity, x-axis only, midpoints. The average curves at the Q lines. If you do this properly, boom, that's what it's going to look like. Now, um, there you go, that's what it's going to look like. So, next screen. What you want to do is pause the video and jot down these things to notice. Maybe jot down these questions. I want you to notice these, AFC, ABC, and ATC, MC, and vertical distances. Once you've looked at that and you've written these down, 
Go back and look at these.